You're looking live at Wall to Wall Blue Sky over downtown Charlottesville as viewed by our East Market Street weather camera. After a cold start, we are seeing a southwest wind giving us a boost in temperature here at the midday hour. Hello, I'm Storm Team 29 meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. Now this morning, as expected, we had a cold start with temperatures in the 30s. Areas of frost thanks to Mark Croden in the Earliesville area of Albemarle County showing that light frost on the grass. But now the next big thing I'm tracking from the Weather Center is going to be a more summer like outlook but not until the last few days of April. So as we wind down the month, we're going to have daytime highs back in the 80s and overnight lows back in the 60s. But until then, we're going to have a brief cool down toward the end of the week. In that first forecast for this Tuesday, daytime highs warmer than yesterday, back to near average for this time of the year. We should top out in the low to mid 70s. A few wispy high thin clouds kind of blocking our blue sky later on today. Should make for a nice sunset during the 7 o'clock hour. And by the way, we have the full moon tonight and we'll start to see some clouds begin to increase, especially after sunset as the clouds begin to get thicker. So our network of Doppler radars here in the weather center is completely dry. We have our fair weather friend high pressure up and down the mid Atlantic region that's going to block any active weather away from us, at least temporarily. Now there's a storm system off the east coast and that's also going to absorb a lot of the moisture that this cold front to the west would have to work with as it crosses the mountain. So as this front heads our way, is not looking all that impressive. So as we look ahead on future cast, we can time it out now. Here we go this evening. Fair skies. The clouds begin to thicken up after sunset. After midnight, we are still dry. Stop the clock between, say, 4 a.m. to 7 a.m. There's a slight chance that that front may give us a sprinkle or a little rain shower. But then after sunrise, any rain chance is long gone. We'll have a blend of clouds and some sunshine for tomorrow afternoon with a northwesterly wind. And looking at the rainfall projections, many of you will not have any measurable rainfall. In fact, we, I don't expect hardly any rainfall at all that will make it across the mountains into tomorrow morning. Now behind the front, we're going to have a northwest breeze tomorrow and eventually that will give us a bit of a cooling trend, especially on Thursday and Friday with highs in the 60s, so a little bit below average. Here comes a warm front on Saturday. Barely a chance for rainfall. I really, I'm not impressed with our rain chances for the rest of April. Your forecast for today in your Storm Team 29 report. Mostly sunny, a mild breeze in the low to mid 70s. Tonight, increasing clouds. Hopefully, we'll get a glimpse of the full moon. And temperatures will be in the 50s overnight, so not nearly as cold. Frost will not be an issue anytime soon. Highest tomorrow, upper 60s for the valley, mid 70s across central Virginia with clouds giving way to sunshine. It will be dry during the day. Here's your seven day forecast. 40s tomorrow night as we cool down, but still. Still, for this time of the year, we're going to have sky high levels of tree pollen, and that will last until the end of April. And then by Friday, Saturday, here comes a warm front, a few extra clouds, but barely a rain chance Saturday. And we're in the 80s behind that front on Sunday and Monday. Steve.